Babylon said jail for we, but the judge said bail for we. Somebody tell the jury, Jack control with destiny. <laughs> Greetings, my good people of Sconville. Welcome to the dirty stinking session. I don't even need to tell you what today's video is about. Y'all just type in the comments. What? Sc I mean, this one more people. Dip <laughs> the intro quick and let me go. Hey, something ever surprise you like when you see Tegala what? Yo, before we get started, give the video a like and if you're new to Stunville, welcome. Press that red and white subscribe button or I will send a snake to crawl up your toilet bowl hole when you're taking your early morning shit. Subscribe now. Now let me bust a little gaff about why someone is in hot water over mud water. If you're now following this story, back in January, a number of persons got arrested in connection with a probe into alleged cyber crimes committed by me, Mudwater. The principal accuser is one of the most hated reporters in Guyana. When I said this man is hated, this man is hated by his own family. He's hated by all other reporters. He's so much hated that he had to go and open his own news thing because nobody is willing to work with him. And somehow or the other, he managed to get some sponsors. Maybe because of the BT corruption. I don't know. But anyways. He goes by the name of Leroy Smith, also known as Levoy Big Shits. One of the persons arrested back in January is a video producer by the name of Kieran Bruce that used to shoot our Street Confessions show. If you don't know what Street Confessions is, by the way, look it up on this channel. It's some funny shit sponsored by Capisa Beverages. Anyways, when Bruce was held for questioning, that self-proclaimed realest scunt hole out of Guyana, Guyanese critic, jump on a live and say, does the man mud water? And he has known for about five years. Or he has known for five years. Then bops, the fucking man gets released without charges and cop a hot suey mother scunt. A hundred million plus. Now obviously, and I've confessed it many times on this channel, this Bruce character is indeed an associate of mine. But he is no snitch. But the man continued to shoot the street confession show and didn't give a scunt. And he continues to keep his mouth shut while I continue to create problems for this anti-man mafia we have here in Guyana. I did some digging and some court documents came to light. That Guyanese critic is the one that collected the million dollar reward after delivering Bruce's name to the police. He is listed as a material witness and the police is relying on his testimony in court to convict Bruce. So y'all don't know what gonna happen with this case. Critics say he knew who was Mudwater for five years and never told a soul. Listen to me say it slowly again. Guyanese critic kept a secret for five fucking years. If you believe that scunt, then you are beyond Lamato. Another thing that was uncovered during my digging is that Guyanese critic is a confidential informant for the CID. So is Otisha and so is Big Shit. Anyways, these people are career snitches and should not be trusted. Critics became a CI after he got in trouble with the law and took a deal to cooperate with them via his Guyanese critic platform. Here's another fun fact. Bruce said he made a report to the police for cyberbullying done to him by Otisha, Leroy Smith, and Guyanese critic. And guess how that investigation is going? People, corruption in the Guyana police force runs deep. And it's not so much the squaddies in the street. Enough respect to me squaddies in the streets. People like Officer Bling and them thing will just collect a little find that from you for survive. Nothing wrong with them police on the streets. It's the top brass that encourages scunt. How do you coin a term? Let's coin this term. Repeat after me. BT of a feather does bugger together. Again with me now. BT of a feather does bugger together. Anyone who is against Mudwata or Guyana Uncut is an automatic anti-man. And y'all watch Skunt will be happening on April 30th at Angois Avenue in Burbies. I promise you guys, it will be epic. And y'all know I don't lie. Now back to critics. I've tried my very best to keep this man's mother's name out my mouth. But the only way you could understand why he is the way he is and why he resents women, especially black women, and objectifies women generally is if you understand his relationship with his own mother. So here is this. You know what? Bless this woman's soul. Don't let me go along this road because like, that'll just make me one of them. Hopefully, critics could come to his senses soon and realize who the scunt it is he fucking around. And I'm not a beaty advocate. But I believe if Bruce Lee just bugger critic and leave all shits, just once, all them charges against him would have been dropped. But if I don't hear, 
He hates Auntie Man just as much as I do. And he ways. Let me don't make this video too long. Remember where to be on April 30th. And if you know why, tell the others in the comments. Yo, my name is Mudwato. Boom out. Hold up.